Hey guys, it's Doran here, a co-founder with FT and the head of product for FT Investor. Today, I'm super excited to show you around Smart Lenders. Smart Lenders is a brand new feature we've built upon more than seven years of feedback, suggestions, complaints, uh, and a ton of popular requests from the domain name investment community. It will be a complete game changer for savvy investors who utilize lending pages for their portfolio. It will help them to turn more visitors into leads, gather better and more accurate data on prospective buyers. It will help you boost sales and it can protect you against UDRPs. So how does it work? Let's dive right in. Smart Lenders is a landing page builder. So instead of selecting a theme from a gallery, you can now create your own perfect landing pages for your portfolio. To get started, navigate to settings and then click the Smart Lenders menu item on the left hand side. Click Create to start building your first Smart Lender. Give it a title and choose a template. Now keep in mind, all these templates you're seeing are created from the same framework and with the very same building blocks. They just serve as a simple way for you to get started, but you can edit uh, and customize uh, pretty much every element of these at any given time. Now in this example, I'm going to choose buy it now plus contact us and then click on proceed. The page will give a refresh and your new smart lender will show in your list and you can click it to start further customizing it in our visual editor. You can click on the title, grid type or the short code and you'll go straight into the visual editor. Okay, so you've created your first smart lender and now of course you want to see it and start customizing it. To do this, you either click the title, the short code, or the little I, and it will take you into the visual editor. Now this is essentially a mock-up of what your smart lender will look like when you assign it to one or multiple domain names in your portfolio. To get started with further customizing this smart lender, you got to click this small gray pencil icon in the left hand corner, which will bring up a footer with a menu where you can either click on instant edit, settings, form, or there is a shortcut to our knowledge base where you will find all the tutorials you need to be successful in creating the perfect smart lenders for your portfolio. Let's explore the different ways to customize your Smart Lender. We'll start with Instant Edit. Instant Edit is exactly what it says it is. It allows you to instantly edit pretty much all of the content elements on your Smart Lender. Just hover over them with your mouse and you can see which elements can be edited or can be hidden. For example, I open this smart lender element and I'll choose to hide it. I'll go back to the instant editor and now I'll show you how you can change the content within an element. For example, above the buy it now price, I want to write something about how the transaction is being processed so I can give potential buyers a sense of security and trust. So I click the element and now I choose to change this copy. So what I'm going to write here is your transaction is safely and securely processed by escrow.com, a licensed escrow company used to buy and sell the biggest domain names on the internet. 
I'll click save, I'll refresh, and now you can see my changes are visible within the mockup. Let's change something else. I go back to instant edit, and I want to change this element here. So I'll click it, and here I think it will be a perfect place for me to maybe leave my phone number. So I'll say, questions, go up to domain expert, and then I'll leave my number here. I'll save it, give it a little refresh, and now you can see the text has been updated here. Now within the instant editor, you can also use shortcodes. Now, there will be a little bit more about using shortcodes in our tutorials, but I quickly want to show you how shortcodes work. Because I could say questions about, and then I use the shortcode domain name, which will pull in the domain name uh, that your buyer is visiting. So this is dynamic. So when I save it, it will say here, questions about, and then it pulls the domain name from the database, questions about ftland.com, talk to a domain expert. And this is how instant edit works. And each and every element you can see here, you can edit, hide, and change. Okay, so let's look at settings. What can you do within settings? To access the settings, click on the small pencil icon again. It brings up the footer menu, and there you go, settings. Here's a ton of things you can do to further customize your Smart Blender. Let's go through them one by one. The title, you can change. So when you create your first Smart Blenders, don't overthink it because the title you give them can easily be adjusted later on. The same goes for the Smart Lender type. When you create your Smart Lender, we ask you to choose a template. But if you change your mind later and say, hmm, I don't want to have a make offer form or a contact us form on the page at all, I only want to have a buy it now button, then you just change the Smart Lender type here. Payment providers. What's awesome about FT Smart Lenders is that you now can display multiple payment providers on your lending page. So you can offer buyers an option to either transact through escrow.com, uh, then, uh, then lease to own, PayPal, or even Stripe, depending on your FT account settings. Now, in this example, I only want my buyer to be able to transact through escrow.com, so I select escrow.com. I also want to change the look and feel a little bit, so I'm going to have a look at the font. A font I like personally is Ubuntu, and I want to explore a different color scheme. So I'm going to choose Sherpa, because who doesn't like Sherpas, right? I scroll down and click save, and now I'll refresh the page. I'm looking at a completely different for sale landing page here. As you can see, instead of multiple payment options now, there's only a buy with escrow.com button here, and there is no way to submit an offer or make an inquiry through form any longer. I still think, though, it looks a little bit busy with all the content here. Now, of course, I could use the uh, instant editor to remove some of these content elements, but another thing you can do is go back to settings and change the content type from fully sized to lightweight. Now, let's see what this does. It completely changes the lender again and puts all the attention on the actual domain name. Personally, I liked it a lot because I don't want to have too much sales copy on my landing page and I let the domain name speak for itself. Now let's have a look what else we can do with settings. 
I like, in some cases, to use a, a background image for my for sale landing pages, or I may even want to upload my own custom image. So let's do that. We'll click on the pencil again and get back to settings. Head over to visuals. Now, when you select your visuals, such as banner or background image, you will see a button show here, which says background image, select background image. First, we'll save these settings, and then I click on select background image. It will take me to an element where I can upload my own or pick one from the image gallery. Now, all the images in our image gallery, you can use, uh, they're copyright free, they're free to use. Uh, so go ahead and pick one you like. I love mountains, so let's select this one. Click yes, I'm sure. Scroll back up. It says your changes have been saved. And you might want to refresh the visual editor to see these changes. Ta-da, here you go. I have a beautiful mountain as the background image for this lender. Let's talk about forms. Forms are very important on landing pages. We use them for buyers to either submit an offer or we can uh, create a form for buyers just to contact us with questions like I've done on this lender right now. So there's no offer here, but people can inquire and leave their uh, details such as email, name, phone number, and a message. Forms are really important because the more relevant data you gather of a prospective buyer, the more uh, you can do in terms of due diligence and it will help you in your negotiation to maximize the deal size. Now let's have a look at how smart lenders really put you in charge of the forms on your landing pages. Click the pencil icon again, and then if you have a landing page with a form, you will see in the footer menu, there's now a form button. So click on it, and here there's a few things you can change. First of all, we have two different form types. One is uh, a, uh, uh, a two-step form, which means someone has to put in an offer first, and then complete the form, or there's a one-step form. It's a form with all the details. Let's use that one. Because in this particular example, I do not want potential buyers to submit an offer. I just want them to fill out a form if they have questions regarding the way the transaction works or the transfer. Or maybe they have, uh, you know, they, they may want to make an offer that's lower than my buy now price. But I do not want them to do that through the form. So here, as you can see, the offer field I have toggled off. You can put it back on, uh, but in my case, I have switched it off. So there is no offer field in my form. But what I want to do is I want to add a custom field, and that is, to ask anyone who fills out the form, what will you use this domain name for? And I make this an active field, and I also make it required, which means somebody has to answer this question or they cannot submit their question or inquiry through the form. Now let's save this, go up, give the page a refresh, and try again. If someone clicks on contact us now, they have to fill in their email, which is a required field, their name, a phone number, which is not required, a message, and what they use the domain name for. Now, this is obviously just an example. This is customizable in the way that you like it. Something that's even possible, if you go to the instant editor, you can change the wording of this button. Instead of say, contact us, you can say, submit question.
Okay, so I have created the perfect smart lender for one or multiple domains in my portfolio, and I wanted to put it to work. So what do I do now? First of all, make sure you've saved all your latest changes and you've given your smart lender an easy to recognize title. I've named mine Mountain, so I immediately know which smart lender I need when I go and assign it to some of the domains in my portfolio. Now go to your FT Investor account and um, go and search for the domain name that you want to assign this smart lender to. In this test account, I've added my lender.io domain name. When I open it, I click on edit and under the marketing tab of the domain, I can change the theme and the theme uh, shows all the um, uh, for sale landing page themes that used to be and still are in the gallery uh, that we've created over the years. But it also now has a new sub menu here called Smart Lenders. And look who's there. It's Mountain, the Smart Lender theme I've created. Just click on it and save. And this Smart Lender theme has been assigned to this individual domain name. Now let's have a quick look and go to lender.io and we can see Smart Lender in action. Now, so how does this work if you want to um, assign this theme to multiple for sale landing pages? You can also assign the theme through the bulk editor, which is available in the portfolio tab. So uh, to assign the lender in bulk, you select all the domain names you wish to assign the new smart lender to. Um, then you do uh, edit selection, and then you can go to bulk edit to assign the smart lender. But it also works in our CSV upload and edit tool where you can quickly assign a smart lender to your entire portfolio by using the short code. Now the short code of the smart lender can be found under settings, smart lenders. And here you have the short code for your smart lender. There is a more detailed tutorial available on how to assign smart lenders uh, to your domains in bulk in the knowledge base. So please head over there if you need uh, a bit more uh, information on how to do that.